Yes, the Leafs lost to a taxi squad featuring Kessel and Keller. Back to backs, Mrazek in net, uh, Lilligren in, Sandine out, Anderson in, I don't even remember, Clifford out. What happened this game? Uh, let's just go through it, okay? We're gonna go through the first, second, third periods, and then we'll, you know, I'll go over my three stars and then uh, my final thoughts. So, uh, power plays early for the Leafs, they get three in the first period. Um, they get two right back to back, 10 shots on goal in those three power plays. Um, lots of shots from JT, Matthews and JT both crack the mask of the Malka. Uh, JT gets stopped out front, Richie has a few whacks at one point, same with Bunting. The Yotes goalie is sharp and he's sharp all bloody game, my gosh, the Malka. Um, then, uh, then Dezingle scores. Um, he gets a chance in the slot because Dermott turned it over behind the net. Poor play. Two bad plays, cost the Leafs. A couple more could have cost them anyway. Um, he shoots it, hits off the backboard, goes over Mrazek, lands, he swipes at it, hits it, it's going in the air. Mrazek's coming out with his glove and he just tips it over his glove. Beautiful goal, I'm gonna give it to him. Bad play by Dermott, nice goal by DeSingle. Down one nothing somehow. Um, then Willie is on a two on with JT. He hits the post. Um, it ends up being four on four. Matthews to Willie in the slot gets robbed. Riley gets a rebound. He hits the post. Then Kasha later on with Mikheyev, who's just ruthless on the four check. Kasha gets stopped as well. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, in this first period, you got to give the Yotes some credit. Uh, when they got the chance with the puck, they did well. Uh, Kessel at one point absolutely burned Lilligren um, for one instance it was amazing it was like watching Kessel with the Leafs wow let's go Kessel with the Pens because he won with them maybe a former and future Leaf I'd take I'd take Kessel um Leafs dominate play as they should against a team that looks like this like Andrew Ladd's on your power play um it literally looked like a practice out there for the Leafs yet they were still losing the Melka was phenomenal shots were 20 to 6 going into the second period second period Matthew's takeaway skills are evident in this period and it happens right away. Takes the puck away from, I forget who it was, turns, I think it was Schmaltz, turns, shoots, nice save by Vimelka. Uh, Matthews then gets a penalty. Um, I didn't see it. All I know is there was a scuffle there and I think he got a holding maybe or hooking. Um, good saves by Morazic on the, on the penalty kill. Um, it goes the other way. Leafs are back at it and Vimelka does his thing. He rubs literally a plethora of Leafs. Uh, Willie right in the slot was one big one with the right pad that honestly didn't get enough recognition on the broadcast it deserved. It was a great save. Uh, throw a bunting chance in there too on a two on one or like a half break with Matthews there. I'm going to say I do like the bunting Matthews connection featuring Kasha. Kasha is a workhorse and he can play anywhere and I guess bunting can as well. Um, I do love that they can mix in players especially with one of the big four out in Mitch Marner. Uh, Matthews has a chance around three minutes to go, but opts to pass to Bunting instead. It goes into Bunting's skates. Wrong choice. He should have shot there. Uh, then he gets a chance behind the net, tries to cross me, but the puck just slides off. He and that line were feeling it all game. Literally just nothing was coming coming out of it up until well, that point. Uh, Matthews literally looked the whole game look like a man playing among toddlers. That's what it looked like out there. He was so good. Um, so thoughts on the second period for the Leafs? Uh, they, they changed their mind. They were going high in the first period. They are going low in the second period. Getting a large number of shots with no success. Even a change of strategy, there was no success in there. Um, you know, and then at the end of the second, there was a rush of chances for both teams. Uh, who was it? Goss Despair, he jumps up like Michael Jordan makes the, just picks the puck out of the air. He goes the other way. A big slap shot off of Morazic's left shoulder. Goes the other way. It's Kerfoot, Nylander, Kerfoot. Sauce to Nylander. Nylander gets saved. Carries on with the puck. Feeds it out to Matthews. Coming off the, uh, coming off the bench. He gets robbed by the left pad, and then Brody goes in to go glove side. But Malcolm makes that save as well. Like <laughs> three ridiculous save sequence. Holy crap! And um, at this time, when I was watching the game with my son, I looked at him and I'm like, it's it's just going to be one of those nights. It's just going to be one of those nights. They they can't beat him. However, we still have Austin Matthews. At the end of the second, it's still one nothing. Yotes shots for 35 to 12. 
going to the third period, and like I said, still have Austin Matthews, because 14 seconds in, he finally beats Famelka through the D, through Gosses Bear, I believe. Nine straight road games with a goal, new franchise record, and it's 1-1. Hometown boy ties it with an absolute rocket. And then, uh, Arizona started to get a few chances, and there was a few hiccups by the Leafs. Uh, just decisions. Uh, Kessler gets a chance on a two-on-one, and just misses wide after uh, Brody's failed pinch. It was close. Mariza goes for the poke check and misses on that play. Good thing Kessel missed the net. Then William Nylander, he gets sent to, uh, like a Hail Mary pass from JT. He's not even looking. It just lands in his feet. He goes in after the breakaway. He's going backhand, forehand, and he just gets the hit of the stick. It goes wide. He follows Soderstrom into the corner. Great little play by Soderstrom, by the way. And he accidentally high sticks him. Great. It was a good play by Soderstrom because William was going five. Well, I could tell, and it was going to go in. It was going to go in. Um... Leafs killed the penalty. Mrazek has to make a few uh, few saves. Uh, it's a tough game for Mrazek. Like, he didn't see much rubber. Not much was happening. And then there'd just be a rush or a power play against him. Um, the guys played, what, like 12 periods? That's that's tough. Good news, though. Um, they did make some big saves, and it wasn't his fault they lost. Uh, so I wrote down here, shots were 40 to 12, seven minutes into the third. And then at 7.18, the Yotes get another rush. This time it's the opposite way from the Kessel one. But it's... Dezingle, again, uh, Brody loses Dezingle, which doesn't happen. He was a sloppy turn. Schmaltz to Dezingle. Mrazek misses the poke check again. This time it goes in. The Yotes score to make it 2-1 on their 17th shot. Yep, one of those games. Uh, basically, that's how it ends. Uh, Leafs went for it. Yeah, that's how I felt, Red. Uh, Leafs lose, even though they outdueled the Yotes in everything except the thing that mattered, which was the score sheet. Whew. <sighs> So Leafs lose 2-1 to the worst team. Now, for my final thoughts, three stars of the game. Vamelka, number one, 100%. Austin Matthews, number two, man among toddlers. Um, and number three, I've got to give it to Dezingle because he got two goals. He scored when he needed to, and that first one was pretty. Heck, the second one was pretty as well. So those are my three stars. Let me know what you would deem your three stars of the game. So, final thoughts. Vamelka, well done. Heck, Arizona, well done to you to survive the Leafs onslaught and score on your chances. From TJ Brody, shit happens. It's a rarity for him to make these mistakes, and it is what it is. It, it, you know, for the amount of times Brody has to save Morgan Riley's ass or the other Leafs' asses with that diving, like, stick-out kind of thing, these things, okay, yes, even though it was a bad play and it cost the Leafs two points, at this time, I'll take the loss of these two points, and I'll take whatever Brody brings every other game, every shift, over these two points. It happens. Uh, Peter Morazic, for him, he just needs more game time to get the timing of some things that practice and training just doesn't do, and it's like that odd man rush like that. Um, and work on your poke check. So, in the end, Leafs lose to a taxi squad team, the worst team in the league. And next up is the St. Louis Blues. Yay. Actually, I'm really happy about that. Uh, I, I love to see the Leafs play against good teams because I want to see how they stack up. They beat Vegas. They had a good showing against Colorado. They dominated the worst team in the league. They did. They just couldn't score. And Malka was a champ. So let's see how they do against the Blues. Leafs are 23-9-3. 49 points. You can't be too angry, can you? Good game, Malka. Good game, Arizona. Well played. Leafs, let's bring on the Blues. That's it for me. Comment down below your thoughts. Go Leafs, go.